What's going on? It's Coach Williams, and I'm back for another breakdown. So today, we are going to talk Drake May, and we're going to talk his player comp. So I have a player comp for Drake May. I'm going to wait until we get to the plays that I want to show you to let you know who it is. If you've been on my Twitter, you already know who it is, so you got the spoiler alert. But I think that these two players are very similar to each other. So I want to break down some plays to show you just how similar they are. And we're only going to watch it from the tight because I want to watch it from, you know, a, a more detailed, drilled down view. When you're watching from the wide, you know, there's a lot of things going on, safety rotation, and you can start to, you know, take in a little too much detail. I want you to just watch the similar similarities and the stylistic um, ways that they're the same rather than like taking in the whole picture. So that's why I've decided to only do the tight angles on these. So let's just jump right into it. So we got Drake May here, okay? And so he gets a little bit of pressure here. So he get pressure, and he doesn't know if the back is going to be able to pick this up when he gets to the top of his drop. And the back does do a good job of getting in here and getting a block, but he decides, I'm going to break the pocket because I don't know if my back is going to make this block and nobody is open. So he gets out here, gets out on the run, and throws a dime, a beautiful pass out here on the sideline to his receiver, big completion that's the type of stuff we want to see so now my player comp the, the guy that i think is most similar to drake may is jordan love and so a lot of people think i hate drake may they think that i don't think he's a very good quarterback no i think drake may has tons of talent and it's a uh, big compliment coming from me to say that I think that he's like Jordan Love because I think that Jordan Love, if you've been on the channel, you know this, he was the hottest quarterback in football going into the playoffs, especially after the wild card round. I don't think there was any quarterback in the NFL that was playing better than Jordan Love. So Jordan Love on this play right here, similar situation. Play breaks down, pocket collapses, he rolls right, gets out here, throws it on the run, and throws again, a dime on the sideline. Very similar. Very similar. So on this next play here, we saw that they could roll right. Well, can they roll left? So uh, I'm going to, even though I said I wanted to, you know, do this from like a, a more drilled down view, I do want to give you the context of what this play was. This was similar to one of those Aaron Rodgers type situations. He caught the defense. He noticed and caught the defense coming onto the field, doing a substitution in a situation that they shouldn't. So he hurried them to the line. And so in this situation, it's really smart to not be like, oh, I'm going to go through my progressions and hit the appropriate target. He's hunting for a big play on this one. So instead of rolling right, he rolls left. Gets out here on the run, pressure, throws down the sideline, beautiful throw. Look at the accuracy on this, perfectly thrown ball, awesome throw from Drake May. All right, can Jordan Love roll left? Yeah, he gets pressure, he gets out of the pocket, throws this one on the sideline with insane velocity and accuracy, big completion in the playoffs from Jordan Love. This is the type of stuff that you could see from Drake May if he's coached up correctly, okay? So on this next one here, so this is a straight drop back here. And this is one of the things that I don't really love about Drake May. He has a uh, tendency to drift in the pocket to where his uh, target in the progression, where he is in the progression, where he's looking. He has a, a tendency to drift that way. And he can get himself into trouble and drift into pressure. But that doesn't happen here. He steps up makes his throw and even though again you know we're not looking at it from the wide angle we can tell that he's making this throw with anticipation because this receiver is not yet open so he throws with anticipation down the middle of the field and that is actually one of my question marks on the outside with him throwing the ball outside the numbers with anticipation but in the middle of the field oh he's money he will throw the ball in the middle of the field with anticipation this is a drive throw big completion touchdown so similar situation here, uh, even though, you know, 
Jordan Love does a better job. And again, this guy's a vet. He's been in the league longer. Does a good job of staying in the center of the pocket here. But the center is getting driven back into him. So he's got to move. And this one, he's got no uh, you know legs to throw into this throw. This is all arm down here. Again, progresses to it. Throws this ball with anticipation. And bang, touchdown. So this one, it was a little bit more of a, um, you know, uh, a ball that had some arc on it. This isn't a drive throw here, but definitely similar type of throw. All right, so this one, again, we don't see the, the wide angle here, but he's got two receivers over here. They're not open, so he's going through his progression, and he comes back in rhythm. Let's watch his feet here in rhythm and hits the backside dig. Boom, in between three defenders here. Again, throwing that ball with some anticipation in the middle of the field. And then one of the really impressive things about this throw is the accuracy. Okay, So he throws it behind him on purpose so that the safety doesn't take his head off. So he takes something off it. Receiver has to slow up, and that protects his receiver. Really impressive quarterback play here. Similar situation with Drake May. So his progression starts over here. We can see from the stripe of his helmet, doesn't like what he sees, comes back here. And throws that backside dig. And what does he do? Throw it behind his receiver so that he doesn't get killed by this safety here. Really impressive stuff. All right. So this one, uh, Jordan Love, he's staring down the barrel of an unblocked defender. Off his back foot, rolling left. Throws right. Really impressive throw. Jordan uh, Drake May, similar situation, but different. He's rolling to his right, throws off his back foot, 40 yards down the field, touchdown. Showing off the arm strength. Both these guys have massive arms. Okay, so now those were all the great plays. Now let's get into a little bit of the negatives here, okay? So a situation where the pocket breaks down. Drake May spins out of this one. And so we'll see at the start of the play here, we have the back in in protection. And so he checks and releases. And so Drake May spins out, and he just wants to make a play here. Sometimes he hunts too much for the big play, throws it back across his body. And, yeah, it ends up being a completion. But in the NFL, that's going to be an interception, just like Jordan Love's last throw of the season. So if you were watching during the season, you know what happened on this play. Love drops back to pass, rolls out, rolls to his right, throws left intercepted big interception here long run back i meant to cut this off so we'll fast forward through it but similar situation just like i said man in the nfl these cross body throws like this they're gonna get picked off the defenders are way faster they're gonna be faster than the guys at georgia tech all right so next play here okay another uh big situation here i believe this was the end of the game and so pocket breaks down. He rolls out of the pocket and then lost this throw over here to a completely covered receiver interception. And so this one has a little bit more nuance to it. This negative play from Jordan Love right here. So this is a screen pass. And so it's a play action screen pass. And we get this guy. The, the screener is going to be the tight end. So he chips and releases. And Jordan Love gets a little cute here and tries to throw this little sidearm, right? Tries to change the arm slot. A lot of quarterbacks are doing that right now. And the ball gets tipped and almost intercepted. Very lucky that a defender did not get their hands on this. What I think uh, Jordan Love should have done in this situation is you got the time. You're here. Just moonball this thing, right? Just throw this thing up and throw it like a fadeaway jumper. Okay, moonball this thing and throw it over here. Yeah, it feels like, oh, if you do that, this defender is going to be able to get over here and blow him up. But if you watch as the play progresses, and then you got this guy here, right? You watch as the play progresses. Both of these uh, offensive linemen get out here and they block. So they're not going to have a free shot at your guy. You should just put a little air under that, underneath that thing, right? Even he loves to throw the fadeaway jumper. Throw that fadeaway jumper and get the ball in the hands of your guy. All right, so last play here. This is the play from Drake May, where I'm talking about it's similar with some of the decision-making, the head-scratchers. But this 
is to me by far the worst play of any quarterback coming out in the draft this year. Okay. And I, I had to do the wide angle because I needed to give you the context to understand how bad this play was. Okay. So situation here, it's fourth and uh, fourth and goal. Okay. And so on the last two plays, the sequence of plays before this, he had gotten stuffed on two quarterback sneaks. So this is fourth down. And he doesn't realize that there are only 10 guys on the field. So that is really bad already to, to uh, you know, only think that there are 10 guys on the field. What makes it even worse is that this is a, an unbalanced formation. So we're going guard, center, guard, tackle, tackle. There's got to be an eligible over here. You, and he's under center. Like, you got to know that some someone needs to be lined up over here because this D-end, as we'll see, has a free run at you. Even if this is a tight end that's going to go out for a, a, a release for a pass, the DN's going to have to at least go around him. This dude has a free shot at you, okay? Then, the thing that makes it the absolute worst is the guy he's supposed to throw the ball to is the one that's not on the field. <laughs> and I've seen people put this up as a highlight play. This play is a disaster. <laughs> and he's very lucky that the guy caught the ball because this is obviously a penalty. You can see the ref throw the flag here. It's obviously a penalty. If this guy doesn't catch the ball, the defense is going to decline the penalty. So in this situation, they ended up getting points because it's a penalty. Uh, the defense accepted it, and they're going to kick a field goal now. If this guy drops it, the defense is going to decline it, and they're going to get the ball. This was by far the worst play that I've seen of any quarterback in this year's draft. And so anyone that puts this up as a highlight, you, you don't really understand football. This is not a highlight play. This is a disaster. <laughs> All right. So look, as we can see, DN is completely unblocked, un, untouched to the quarterback. How, how do you line up under center and not know that there's nobody here? You should be able to smell the breath of this defensive end. This was a horrible play. Horrible play. <laughs> All right. So I hate to end it on a bad note, but, you know, Jordan Love is my player comp. I know a lot of people uh, want to comp him to Josh Allen. I don't think he's nearly as strong as Josh Allen. I don't think that um, I think Josh Allen's arm is I think it's like him and, you know, Patrick Mahomes and and Herbert, like they're on a totally different planet in terms of like arm strength so i don't i don't see josh allen arm strength um and people have comped him to justin herbert as well i don't see that either because i know that there were um you know some questions about herbert coming out and he fell in the draft and all that stuff but the one thing that uh you know everybody knew about justin herbert was his mechanics were on point his footwork his throwing motion, I think personally, I think Justin Herbert has the best throwing motion in the entire NFL. So I don't see any any similarities there. But I do see Jordan Love. And to me, Jordan Love is a top 10 quarterback. So that is what I think Drake May can be if he fixes some of the decision-making stuff. And then over the course of this draft season, I'll show you some of the footwork and mechanical stuff that I have questions about. But no doubt, Drake May is a first-round pick. No doubt. Drake May is a guy that if he ends up on your team and if he gets the right coaching staff, I think that he can be a top 10 quarterback. So I think a lot of people are going to be excited if Drake May ends up on their team. So that is it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. So as always, you know what it is. It's Coach Williams, Ballhawks. We fly. I'm out. Peace.